Religion plays a significant role in most people's lives and this is evident in the 10,000 distinct religions worldwide of which 84% are affiliated with one of the five dominant religious groups. Almost every religion has its holiest holy sites where pilgrims of the faith from different parts of the world converge to pay their respects. While some of these holy sites are located in mountainous towns and remote destinations, many important cities around the world are renowned as pilgrimage centres because of their significance to the religion. Not surprisingly, many of these most religious cities are located in Asia, a land that has been the birthplace of almost all of the world's significant religions. Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to Sunny's List of Things. We've got a great video today. The 10 most religious cities in the world. Sit back and relax and enjoy. Lumbini in Nepal. For Buddhists, Lumbini is a major pilgrimage destination. It's the birthplace of Gautama Buddha, the founder of the Buddhism religion. Queen Naya Devi gave birth to Prince Siddharth at this place, who later renounced the world to follow a religious path of teaching and sacrifice. The site of Buddha's birthplace in Lumbini was largely lost to the world till an inscribed pillar by the Indian Emperor Ashoka was discovered among the monastic ruins in 1896. Today, Lumbini is seen by many as one of the most religious cities in the world. It's a holy city that has Buddhist centers from all parts of the world. However, the most significant of these is the Maya Devi Temple. It was built on the spot where Buddha was born. For those who have an interest in religious history, especially Buddhism, Lumbini is worth a visit. Bethlehem in Palestine Known as the Cradle of Christianity, the city of Bethlehem is an important pilgrimage destination for Christians. That's because it contains the Church of the Nativity built on the site where Jesus was born. A silver 14-pointed star marks the place beneath the altar. This site is especially busy at Christmas, when Christians from all over converge here to celebrate Christ's birth at the place he was born. Considered one of the most religious cities on earth, the 2,000-year-old city is also the birthplace of King David. However, did you know that besides Christians, it's also seen as a holy site for Muslims? For Muslims, Jesus Christ is a major prophet, and Jerusalem is where the events of Jesus' life happen. And thanks to its unique atmosphere and historical significance, Bethlehem is an extremely popular destination. Sripada in Sri Lanka A religious attraction and pilgrimage site for four different religions like Buddhists, Hindus, Christians and Islamists, the Lofty Peak, often referred to as Adam's Peak, has been a pilgrimage site for more than 1,000 years. Sripada literally means sacred footprint, which Buddhists believe to be the footprint of Buddha when he ascended into heaven. Called one of the most religious cities in the world, Christians and Muslims believe the footprint is Adam's footprint when he was exiled from Eden. Meanwhile, Hindus believe it to be the imprint of Shiva, or Hanuman. While many religious people climb the mountain daily to invoke blessings, you should note that good physical condition is required. That's because it can take up to five hours to reach the peak.
Rishikesh in India. Aside from being called one of the most religious cities, Rishikesh is also dubbed the yoga capital of the world. The city has been a sacred site for Hindus since ancient times. It rose to prominence on the world stage when it was visited by the Beatles in the late 60s. Rishikesh's spirituality arises from its location on the Holy Ganges River, on whose bank several ancient and modern temples are located. Numerous yoga centres throughout the city attract visitors from all over the world. Furthermore, Rishikesh is also one of the finest places to visit in North India. Apart from being the home to pilgrim spots, it also houses hip cafes, dense forests and many outdoor attractions. And given the pleasant weather of the city, you can visit it anytime you want throughout the year. Lourdes in France One of the prime pilgrimage sites of the Roman Catholics is Lourdes, 43 kilometers south of Pau. The grotto of the sanctuaries of Notre Dame of Lourdes is considered one of the holiest sites for Christians. It's believed that this is where the Virgin Mary appeared 18 times to a 14-year-old girl, Bernadette Subwaris. Apart from that, Lourdes is also known to be a major place of miraculous healing. A spring is supposed to have sprung up where Bernadette was instructed by Our Lady to dig. This spring continues to flow today. It draws many people from all parts of the world to be healed physically and spiritually. Here's an insider tip. Lourdes is the busiest from Easter to October. That said, August is the month where you'll find countless people come to be healed especially during Assumption. Varanasi in India The religious capital of India lies on the banks of the Holy Ganges in the northern state of Uttar Pradesh. It is the holiest of the seven sacred cities of Hinduism and Jainism. It's also mentioned in the ancient scriptures of, of the Puranas and also in Buddhist teaching. Varanasi is believed to be the place where Buddha preached his first sermon and founded Buddhism. Many Hindus flock to the city to bathe in the holy Ganges or to cremate their dead with the hope of attaining salvation. If you want to travel to Varanasi, October until March is the best time to be in the city. The weather is pleasant and plenty of celebrations are held in these months. Jerusalem in Israel You can't talk about the most religious cities without mentioning Jerusalem. Jerusalem's Old City is one of the most sacred cities of Judaism, Islam and Christianity. It's the metro area where these three important faiths were established. For Christians, Jerusalem is a holy city as it's where Jesus preached, died and was resurrected. Fun fact? The city is mentioned around 800 times in the Bible, more than any other place. There are many religious sites in the surrounding areas, accompanied by some of the best hotels in the city, with the most revered being the Temple Mount Al Haram Ash Sharif, the Western Wall, and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre believed to be the site where Christ was crucified. Lahasa, Tibet Autonomous Region, 
in China. For Tibetan Buddhists around the world, Lhasa, the place of the gods, is the center of their religious faith. This revered city was once the seat of the Dalai Lama before the Chinese invasion of Tibet. The impressive Patala Palace rising high above the city is where the spiritual leader once resided from 1649 to 1959. Since then it has been a museum, then in 1994 it became a World Heritage Site. Lhasa was the religious and administrative capital of Tibet since the mid-17th century and is still highly revered by Buddhists and Tibetans. No wonder it's named one of the most religious cities in the world. Aside from being a religious city, Lhasa is also a holiday destination. It gets more than eight hours of sunshine a day throughout the year making it the perfect place for those waiting to be sun-kissed all day long. Mecca in Saudi Arabia Mecca, the birthplace of the Prophet Muhammad, the founder of Islam, lies in the region of Hal Jazi in Saudi Arabia. It's also the holiest and most religious city in the country. A cave located three kilometers from Mecca is where the Prophet received the revelation of the Quran. The pilgrimage to the cave is called the Hajj and is an obligatory duty for able Muslims. They must attempt the Hajj to Mecca at least once in their lifetime. As one of the most religious cities, it's home to one of Islam's holiest cities, the Kaaba. Those who love to attend religious services will be familiar with Kaaba. It's the black cuboid granite structure at the centre of the Great Mosque of Mecca. It's a sacred site built by prophets Abraham and Ishmael. Muslims are expected to face the Kaaba when they say their prayers. Vatican City in Italy. The number one spot on our list is without a doubt one of the most famous and most religious cities in the planet. It has been the center of the Roman Catholic Church since the foundation of St. Peter's Basilica in the 4th century. As a permanent seat of the Pope, Vatican City, located in central Rome, became the primary holy city for all Catholics around the world. This is also the reason why it's called the Holy See, which means the See of the Bishop of Rome. Masses are often held at St. Peter's Square, where people gather to have a glimpse of the Pope and receive his blessings. Moreover, a unique collection of architectural masterpieces can be found within the boundaries of this small state. But what's so amazing is that roughly all 825 people of the Vatican City are Christian. This means its city's unaffiliated percentage is 0%. Well, there you go guys. Thank you so much for watching the 10 most religious cities in the world. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down in the comment section below and let me know what your favorite religious city is and why. And if you haven't already done so, Please subscribe to the channel, turning your bell notifications on so that you can get notified every time a new video drops. So until the next time guys, please take good care of yourself. Until then, bye bye.